Have you ever been in your room and thought to yourself, I should be doing some boxing training right now, but maybe you can't be bothered to go to the gym, maybe you have no access to a boxing gym? Well, get your ass out of bed because I'm going to show you some boxing defenses for you to learn at home right now. So let's get straight into it. And bear in mind, I barely have any space around me right now and I'm still going to teach you how to learn some boxing defenses at home. So don't make any excuses about you not having space because if you saw where I am right now in my room, there is literally barely any space for me to move, but I'm still going to show you it's possible. All right, cool. Starting off at number one, I'm first of all going to teach you guys the slip. The slip is very important if your opponent is throwing jabs at you, crosses at you, or even hooks at you. So this boxing trick is actually very simple, but I want to make sure you guys perfect it with the form first before you try and do it fast or in sparring. So let me show you exactly what it looks like in normal speed, then I'm going to slow it down for you guys. As you can see, very simple. All you are doing with the slip is literally leaning forward but slightly sideways at the same time. A slip is not like this. It's not sideways. Don't do it sideways. It's going to be way slower like that. The efficient way of doing a slip is literally doing it sideways but forward at the same time and dropping your hips, twisting them with it so you put your body momentum forward to the side so you're not getting hit by the punches, obviously. So just like this. Your opponent throws punches, you lean slightly forward like this. Don't go too far down because it's going to take longer and you're probably going to injure a lot of back like me. So don't go too far down, but don't go obviously just like that. Don't do it too little and don't do it too far. You have to find that sweet spot range. So just like this, you slip. Other angle, slip, 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 slip. A tip for you to know is that you should use your hips to actually move yourself as well, as well as your head and upper body. So don't just move your head like this. You want to move your hips as well with it. So twist with it, twist with it, twist with it. And make sure your hands are still up protecting your face. So let's get on to the second tip. All right, and number two, the roll. The roll is very, very, very important if an opponent is throwing hooks at you. If opponent's throwing hooks at you, they're most likely not going to slip, but instead you are going to roll. So yet again, I'm going to show you how to do the roll in the normal speed, then I'm going to slow it down for you guys so you guys get to learn the technique of it so you don't just go straight into sparring and try it out, get the technique wrong and get knocked out, okay? So learn the technique slowly first, okay? But I'm going to show you fast so you understand what it looks like. So this is what it looks like normally. As you can see, very simple. All I was doing is just rolling in like this. But obviously, you might not know how to actually do it, so now I'm going to show it to you guys slowly. So all the roll is, it's not even too different from a slip, but instead of slipping, you're actually doing it in a U motion. So imagine the, the letter U in front of you, right? That's how you want to move your hips and your body with it. So just like this, in a semi-circular motion, you want to, just like that, move like that. But make sure you're not just, you know, just going like that, because that has no momentum. You want to actually use your hips and your legs and your body to twist with it, so you get the fastest speed possible and the fastest momentum. Because think about it, you want to dodge a punch, right? You're not just doing it just to do it for the fashion. Because if someone's throwing a hook at you, you want to be able to go roll and do that. If someone's throwing punches, roll, roll, bow, roll out, roll out, bow. So remember that. Use your hips and roll forward. Roll into them as well. Even if you're not rolling into them, semi-circle, bow. Very, very simple. Don't overcomplicate it. So learn that. Right, moving on to number three this one is also very very important especially if you do not have a lot of energy to roll or slip this is what i do a lot of the time if i have no energy for it because it's a very quick solution to get protected in your face if you have not got the energy to move and stuff let's say in the late rounds of boxing you're getting tired you're getting fatigued you want to quickly defend it without having to move too much this is what you can do it is the block the block bro very simple it looks just like this. I'm going to show you in normal speed, then I'm going to break it down for you. And this one you guys are going to learn very, very quickly because it's so simple. This is the block in normal speed. As you can see, all I'm literally doing is lifting my arm up to block my face from a punch. Bear in mind, when you're wearing boxing gloves, the boxing gloves are going to take up a lot more space. So it's going to be way more protected than I am with a fist, okay? So... All you're doing for the block is essentially just lifting your arm up to protect your face from the hook that they are throwing. So if someone's throwing a hook at you and you have no energy to do that, you can literally just block, block, block. Obviously, it still might hurt a little bit because the punch is coming at you and it's going to push your arm with your face, but it's better than getting knocked out trying to roll in the tide, okay? So if you can't roll or slip, block, block, block. Practice it, bro.
All right, moving on to the fourth tip. This one is actually a very, very simple one as well, but it could go very, very wrong. So listen to this one very carefully, right? Because this one could get you knocked out if you don't do it right. It is the parry. The parry is very simple, but if done wrong, you will get your ass knocked out, bro. I'm not even going to lie to you. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it first, and I'm going to explain to you why it's dangerous if you don't do it right. The parry is literally just a simple pat the punch away. So when the guy's throwing a jab at you or punch, you pat it away. This is just through your hands, pat away, pat away. The guy's coming at you, pat, pat, pat. Because you can parry, punch again. So, pat, pat. You can literally go, pat, pat, parry. Simple, but the reason why this could go very, very wrong is if, if you do not time it well, or if you use the wrong hand at the wrong time, let's say, for example, the guy throws a punch. Let's say you parry it, but then he faints that punch, and now you've dropped your hand here, right, with the parry. He might come back and give you a hook and you're knocked out as simple as that that's why the parry is very very dangerous if you don't do it well but if you do it and perfect it then bro you're good but be very careful with it because if the guy is skilled and he makes you you know if he faints he gets your hands to go low and he punches you in the face over for you bro so make sure you actually practice it first with a sparring partner or a friend so try it out bro and last but not least number five number five is very simple and it gets you out of tricky situations but it does require a little bit of energy because you're going to be using your legs mainly for this one. But let me show you where it is. It is the step back. The step back is very important for defense and also for countering punches. So for defense, if somebody's throwing a punch at you, you simply step back. As simple as that, use your front leg to push off backwards so you land on your back leg and your steps behind. So if you're fighting a guy and he's coming too far close to you, you go step back. Simple as that, bro. At least you practice it. Just step back. Now, if you step back and you still want to counter him, you can literally step back. Come in again with a punch. Come in again with a combo. Step back, uppercut, hook. You've got everything to do it with. But make sure when you step back, you know the range, right? You've got to know if the, you know, the ropes are behind you. Know where you are in the ring or in the fight before you actually step back. So let's go again. The guy's fighting you. Step back. As simple as that, bro. You'll create range with them. And if the guy is, you know, too aggressive, the step back is very good because now you're away from him and you can even counter back with a better punch. So practice that. Anyways though man, I really hope you guys enjoyed this boxing video I created for you guys at home to show you guys that it's possible to do some boxing training at home. I also have a home boxing program in my bio that will teach you guys elite skill levels of boxing. And I promise you, after you use the program for a couple of days, you will literally see massive improvements, bro. I've got techniques, professional techniques on it, professional combos, crazy tips and tricks on it, bro. So use it. The link is in my bio. Get it right now. And I hope you guys have an amazing time. I'm out.